This is algebra 1, 7.1. We're doing the multiplication properties of exponents. The first thing that we should talk about is what is a monomial? What is a monomial? It can be a variable, yes? A, a product? Okay. It's a single term. I'm going to go there first. It's a single term that's made up of numbers or variables. or a product of them, of numbers and variables or multiple variables. Okay, so it's a single term which means, let's give some examples of this. Four is a monomial. A is a monomial. X squared is a monomial. Four X squared is a monomial. Because now it's a product of some variables and numbers. It's a still a one thing. Okay? Now, four is actually a special monomial. Four is what we call a constant. Constants never change. So never change. And it's a value. It's a number. <coughs> so constants never change. So that's like 4, negative 2, 3. It's a single term, but it's just a number. It's a value. Constant value. Great. We don't like to use constant as a part of the definition of constant, right? So um, it's a number that doesn't change. Number. So the question is A, B, C, and D. Those do look a little bit small on the screen. I can, but I'm going to lose some of the stuff we have. I'll pause. So the first one, negative x plus 5. Is that a monomial? It's not. Why? It's got... Are they only multiplied? No, it's adding. It's got two monomials. Negative x is a monomial. 5 is a monomial. But if you put it together, it's a... Does anybody know that? Constant double monomial. What? It's a... Binomial. Oh, I was oh, so yeah. trinomial? Double monomial? No, we call it binomial. Oh, Two monomials. Okay. Is, is, is B a monomial? Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. It's because 23 is multiplied to A, B, C, and D squared. They're all multiplied together, forming one term. Yes. C? Yeah. Yes. Is it? Yes. No. no. Is that? No. Is it not? I don't think it is. No. Is it what it's not? It's, it's not. not. It's, it's not. What if uh, it well, is a yes? Told you. Oh! Why, Why oh. is it a yes? What do you mean we're multiplying? We're dividing by two. Okay, they're multiplying on top. I think everybody can agree that this is x, y, z squared, right? But instead of dividing by 2, now multiply by 2, multiply by by the reciprocal or 1 half. Would that be okay? So we can change it to a, pot, uh, to a one half and multiply. So therefore, it's all numbers or things or variables being multiplied, single term. We are good to go. So M, P over N. Monomial? Yes or no? The answer is no. 
Why is this one not okay? Because it doesn't have a number. It doesn't have to have a number. But it has a variable in the denominator. So therefore, no. If you have a variable in the, de in the denominator, then no. If it's just a constant or a number, then it's okay. Because we can change that to multiplication. Okay. So this slide was to have us remember what a power is. What does it mean to have x to the n power? Right. So it's x times x times x times x times x times bop, 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 all the way to the point of n times. Yes? Yes. So obviously, 2 to the 8th power is 2 which is this, right? Yeah. And if you wanted to, you could take your calculator and do 2 to the 8th power or 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, 8 times. You'll have the same answer, yes? It's probably a fairly large number, like 256, but actually it's not too big. Um, but you can do that. Everybody understands that, right? Now, would you guys also agree that if I took this group and I said, hey, I want to multiply those three together first, then multiply those five of them after, would that be okay? Yeah. Isn't that the uh, associative property? I want to group this multiply it, and then group that and multiply it. It's one of those, right? Or the commutative property, you can kind of multiply in any order. But the associative group uh, property is where you can group them up. But if I wanted to use this whole idea of exponents or powers, that first group would really be called 2 to the third power times 2 to the 5th power. But isn't that the same thing as 2 to the 8th power? No. Why wouldn't it be, guys? We just stated that this group, or this 2 to the 8th, is all of these 2's, and I grouped up these 2's here. Those 2's there, shouldn't, when I multiply those together, give me the same exact answer as 2 to the 8th? Okay, so, wait a minute. If this is true, well, what's the connection between these two then? What do I do if they're the same base and I'm multiplying them? I add what to? The top number. The exponents. So that would equal 2 to the 3 plus 5, which is 2 to the 8th. Boom. If they're not the same number. If they're not the same base, no, you can't. Only if they're the same. Guys, this, is, this has got a rule. It's got a name for it. It's called the product of powers. The product of powers says to multiply two powers that have the same blank, blank, their exponents. What did we just do in the last one? Add. We add their exponents. Boom. A to the N times A to the M is equal to A to the N plus M. I just add their exponents. So hence, if I change it and call it, hey, B to the 4 times B to the 11th. B it is B15, but guess what, guys? I want to see this. We gotta show you add I want to be shown that. Uh, now, guys, you're not always going to have to. We just learned this. So therefore, I want to see to make sure that you guys are doing this properly. Because I had some people in the last class multiplying or adding when they weren't supposed to but as soon as I made them write this down, there was no issues. 
okay? So write the steps out. This is supporting your work. So put this to practice. Try A and try B, but show your work. Okay. Oh, you're recording right now, so hopefully he didn't say anything bad. He sent it to his mom. Uh, uh, oh. Wait, how do you write? It's not like anybody, no one watches these anyways. Oh. Or if people watch them, they don't get this far anyways. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I watch them. Hey guys, it is recording live right now. Yep, I'm recorded. <laughs> Yeah, Nick, say some dick for all the kids up there. Because all the kids are watching this video. You got the right answer, didn't you? Okay. Is Nick correct? Yeah. Now, for the problem is, he didn't show his work, right? That is my work. He did show some. Oh, you want me to show you adding it? Yes. Okay. Now, the one thing we can say here is the fact that, again, that whole um, associative part, it says, hey, it's three times y to the fourth times seven times y to the fifth. Parentheses really don't mean anything, right? And so it was good. He broke up the three and the seven out front, did those together, got 21. He also recognized that he's going to multiply his y's together. And the stuff that I wish he would have also written is y to the 4 plus 5, which would then lead us to 21y to the 9th. Is he correct? Yes. yes. Part B. Notice again, everything is multiplied. So do I really need the parentheses? No. So what's negative 4 times negative 6? 24. And then it's r to the... Ooh. r to the 1st? Or R by itself is really R to the 1 plus 5, right? And then X to the 2 plus 2. And T to the 3 plus 1. That's your first step, guys. And from here... We put it all together. It would be R to the 6, X to the and T to the 4th. Done. They're not the same. We're done. Right. So let's go back to the 2 to the 8th is 2 8 times, right? Multiplied together. What if, what if I chose to break them into... this many groups. How many groups do I have? Four. No, wait. What would you say two times two is? Four. It's four, but it also in base two, it's two, four times four times two. two squared. Mm -hmm. So two squared is two times two? Yes. Would it be okay for me to write this? How many times? Four times. Okay. Would this be okay? You guys would still agree that that would have to equal 2 to the 8th because that's what I started off with. Yeah. Now, wait a minute. Doesn't the whole idea of an exponent on a base just saying that I'm multiplying the same thing over and over and over that many times? What's the thing that's being repeated? 2 second power. So wait a minute, isn't that the same thing as 2 to the second power how many times? Four. To the fourth power? Oh. Would you guys agree with this? Yes. I'm just doing 2 squared to the fourth power? But that is supposed to equal 2 to the eighth. What's the connection? You multiply. Yeah, it's 2 to the 2 times 4, which is 2 to the 8th. Guys, this is called power of a power. And a power of a power, you multiply. So, 
Power of power. To find the power of a power, multiply the exponents. So therefore, a to the n to the m power is just a to the n times m. So our example on the bottom there is 2 squared squared to the fourth power. Do you guys notice that there's a parentheses and there's a bracket? The bracket acts like an extra set of parentheses. Order of operations always tells us to work from the inside out. So we could make that a 4, square it, and then take it to the fourth power. Or, wait a minute, isn't the most inside part end up being a power of a power? So therefore, could I then make it so that this is 2 to the 2 times 2, which is 2 to the 4th, to the 4th power? And then now we have a power of power again, which is 2 to the 4 times 4, which is 2 to the 16th. I think if you put that on your calculator, you'll end up with an error because it's too big of a number. Now, I could be wrong. That's what you were telling me the, uh, earlier today. But you don't need a calculator to figure these things out. That's what it is, 2 to the 16th power. It's a big number. But I was able to simplify it. Do you see how we worked from the inside out? You technically, because of the way this works, I could have done the 2 times 2 times 4 right up here. Because it's power of power of power. So just multiply all your exponents. 2 times 2 is 4 times 4 is 16. You would have been done there too. So there's a couple different ways we can approach this. Any questions? And the last one, I'm not going to make us uh, break it up or anything. But this one's called a power of a product. So now you have a product. A product means multiplication of things. And so if you have a power of a product... You can find the power of each factor and multiply them together. So, basically, yes. Okay? Nick says, just basically distribute. I have n as an exponent on some things being multiplied. They could be two things multiplied or 20 things multiplied. Then each one will get the power of n multiplied to it. So it's like distributing. I don't want to say that it is distributing because it's not officially the right proper way. But you are basically distributing the n to all of the all the sorry exponents inside. Be careful. Sometimes your things inside already have an exponent. And if they already have an exponent, it becomes power of a power. So I'd say try that example there and see what you get. Okay, so again, we're going to have to act like we're distributing that 4 to all the exponents. If it, there's no exponent there, what's really there? It's a 1. And so it's 4 times 1, which is 4 x to the third, but then it's to the fourth power. It's y to the fourth. And if you do this, what's 2 to the fourth power? 2, 4, 8, 16. x to the 12. y to the fourth. Done. Okay, homework is on page 394, 1 through 20 all. Have a great day.